pork belly. A whole bunch? You betcha. And we're totally pumped to be back on the Pit Boss Platinum Laredo 1000. A simple cook that is simply delicious. You wanna see how we smoke these pork belly burnt ends? Stick around while we dig, dig in. in. Hey, welcome back. back. I'm Adam. I'm Brett. And we are the, the Wall, Wall Twins. Twins. If this is your first time here with us though, welcome. welcome. Consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything that we do, no matter where we're doing it or what we're doing it on. That's right. Because Cooking today is happening. Today we're doing something a little bit different. Not even that different. We different for our channel. Let's put right, it that way. For That's a while, safe. for a while there, coming out of what November, October, November there, we were using the Platinum Laredo 1000 from Pit Boss. Absolutely loved it. Kind of got away from that a little bit to really focus on the Sierra Griddle, which we absolutely love. And it is up behind me because we are starting with this cook and we will be incorporating it into a future cook as well. Right, these pork belly burnt ends, I am really excited to do. I've never done these on the smoker. Right. And as such, what do you do when you're doing something for the first time? You research some of the best. And Matt over at Meat Church has a great way of cooking this. And I do appreciate his latest pork belly burnt ends because like he says, they make them all the time, and so many times we do similar cooks a lot. Uh, yeah, often, often, and, and mean like from our our fried rices yes, to hibachi smash burgers, burgers. The smash burgers. There's always ways to improve it or different right. ways to do it, and we just like to show you all the ways. Right. So while Meat Church has some award-winning uh, pork belly burnt ends, he picked up a new trick from Travis Haim of Haim Barbecue, and so we're gonna apply that here and cook these a little bit different. Break into the groceries, and then I'll explain what we're gonna be doing. Here we go, pork belly. <laughs> Enough said, I'm just kidding. As you can see, what we're using today is the Kansas City barbecue rub to put on these, and then we're using this amazing, delicious Pit Boss Sweet Heat barbecue sauce. This stuff is so good. Pit Boss makes so many different, amazing barbecue sauces, and the reason we chose this one today is it reminds me of one of my favorites back home called Davis Barbecue. They have a sweet barbecue sauce. All right, as Griffin goes to switch shifts, because Kenzie's gonna be coming in here, I'm gonna glove up and we're gonna go ahead and switch operations. So we're gonna prep these pork belly as it looks like the rains are coming in. So we're gonna get to this quick here. Or we're gonna prep this pork belly. Oh, real quick mention. Yes. Golden Protective Services has sent us some of their gloves to try out and we are loving these. So we're gonna feature these a few upcoming videos. They just asked us to give these gloves a try. We've been trying them and we love them. We're gonna be placing our, placing our order very soon for these. So if you want information about these gloves. They are the nitrile, the latex free food safe nitrile gloves and we absolutely love them. But I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna switch angles and get to this one. So we've got our monster plate of pork belly. I've already cut these down to about inch, inch and a half each. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit these with our rub, our rub of choice for right now is the Pit Boss Kansas City Rub. You can use your favorite rub. This one we really like, it's just got that traditional barbecue flavor for a rub. We really, really like that as the rains are coming in, so I'm gonna get to this. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dump my pork belly here, and then we're gonna do something specific because we're not gonna cook this on a wire rack like is traditional. So let me go ahead and get that open. Now, the thing is, is you wanna be as liberal as you feel you need to be. There's Some people will actually take the lid off and literally dump it on. Right. Brett, those look pretty good, well covered. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna let those set about 10, 15 minutes and sweat it out, which to bring out the flavors. Actually works out because our smoker is about 120. We're trying to get it up to, or, I'm sorry, 220. We're getting up to 250 for this one. Right. All right, so those are just about done sweating it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and transfer them. So this is the Meat Church method, is what I'm calling, that he learned from Travis Heem which is to actually put these onto a sheet rather, like a cookie sheet rather than onto a wire rack. And the idea is that these will kind of start to cook a little bit in their own fat. So I am putting them fat side down, although I'm not sure that it matters to be honest with you, but the fact that it's gonna be cooking in its own fat, this is just kind of help with the flavor. We won't do anything else with it, but we're just gonna stack these up, get these uh, transferred over to, to the uh, smoker, which is now ready to go. All right, well, there they are all ready to go. So like we said, the idea is that this will just kind of cook 
in its own fat for about three, three and a half hours. We're gonna test them, or we're gonna temp them and just see how they cook. Break with no open. Just so jump. I have something to do with this cook. There you go. <laughs> now we are using the uh, Pit Boss Competition Blend pellets for this. Use whatever you like. We I found those are probably some of my favorites. Yes. Super simple, but at 250 degrees, we're gonna let that sit for about three hours. All right, so we'll see you in about three and a half hours. Let's just hang out until then. Yeah, see ya. Or we'll, we'll just go swim. swim. There we go. <laughs> Brett's being silly with the recording. All right, so we are gonna go ahead and pull these. Now you see it's been running closer to 260, so we're pulling these about, what Brett, what time is it? So about 30 minutes earlier uh, than we originally right, thought? Point, it is about 24 minutes early. Okay, so as you can see, we've got a good mahogany color on Mah most of those, mahogany. which is what we want. And a lot of this is just white, that's just from the fat, really. So we're gonna go ahead and set this down and then what we're gonna do, leave this on and running because we're yes, not done with it. We're not this. done. We're not done cooking so we're on it. Close that. Look at and these. all right, so here we go. I had to go get my uh, my uh, other glove to be able to grab these. Basically, what we want to do is we're gonna pull these and we're gonna put them all in to here and then we're gonna sauce them up. So let me go ahead and do this. I may have to scrape some of these out. So we'll go ahead and get that. Oh, oh my gosh. Let those absorb some of those juices for a second. And Adam, might I suggest something? What's that? Saving that fat for yes. a cook. We could. Or a gravy. We could. It's all it's all just fat grease. Um, but and it's got some of that seasoning, so that would be good. How good would that be like in a uh, sausage gravy? That's what, exactly like a bacon gravy, yes. Basically what I want to do is I'm just gonna grab these, put them into here. Remember, we're not bringing over the excess fat. Try not to. Try not to, but it's okay if some of it goes in because it'll just mix in with the flavor. Brett, you know what this smells like, honestly, is when I did my pulled pork. And that's oh, what this smells yes. like. So now the intent is, let me go ahead and open my bottle here. We want to sauce them. Now, according uh, to most of the advice I've ever gotten is we want to sauce just enough to kind of get them sticky and covered. Uh, and that's all we're going to do. We're not going to let these like be um, swimming in sauce. This is nice and thick. Okay. So I'm gonna coat these. Let me go ahead and just make sure everything can get coated. Dude. Do you now, wanna this, send that this uh, glove heat, to a listener, a this, viewer? <laughs> one lucky viewer. Now this was actually recommended. This is what Brett wanted. This was Brett's choice here. So we're gonna see. Do you smell that? Yes. This smells so <laughs> Look good. Look at the, it looks like candy. Right, so all we're gonna do is we just want these coated. See how everything's coated? Yep. I thought I'd need a little bit more. I think that's gonna it's be Maybe perfect, a little actually. more up here though. No, watch, because I've got some down there. Oh, and I'll you have some keep... down in the pan yes. too, so. So all I wanna do is zoom, a zoom, zoom, and a boom, boom. Okay, you shake so your up. Once everything is totally coated, now all we wanna do is just get these to where they're tacky, a little bit sticky Kay. and tacky, and that is it. So we're gonna go ahead and talk. Oh, it smells so good. I'm like going nuts here. We, this Adam, smells... we seriously need to get uh, smell of vision going. We do. This smells so good. All right, so these can actually just even cook in a pile. We're gonna go about 30 minutes and check 30. them. Okay, we'll check because them Because of how hot that's been cooking. 30 minutes, let's go ahead and load it. Oh, let me take that glove off here. All right. Take that off. Gonna go ahead and get that and put that right back where it was and check those in 30 minutes. So I've had very important jobs during this entire cook, and that's been opening this unit. And so, well, I'm back to do my job. So, Brett, for the last time today for this cook, go ahead and open sesame. Uh, look at this, look at this meat candy. Oh, oh man. my goodness, look at that. And those are like what we call, like to call in the business, done. We're gonna kill it. All right, go ahead and kill it. All right, Cannon, you got those? We'll go ahead and let those cool down. We're ready for a second. There's not gonna be B-roll. We're just gonna let those cool down and we'll taste them <laughs> yeah, for you. Exactly. All right. And with wow. that, ladies and gentlemen, there it is in all its glory. I know it's only been mere minutes for you, but it's been hours for us. For and this cook, yeah. Well worth the wait. So all well, in all, so we think. All in all, just about three hours and 40 minutes. Yep. Just right, almost right on the nose. We did go ahead and pull them initially to sauce them a little early because my Laredo was running hot about 260 yep. average. It did jump degrees. up to 270 once, but came right back down to 250. Right. So it was kind of a little bit all over the place, but ended up settling at 260 because of that. And we did go ahead and probe them. Uh, internal was uh, 190 to 200 on yep. just about S everything. Yeah, exactly. So. Which is good, because we didn't want them too soft and chewy. Now, that said, first we were 
testing them for temperature, but then we wanted to feel, we wanted to be able to slide it in without getting too hung up, but also without it completely falling apart. Right. Now where the fat was that was falling apart, we're okay with that. <sighs> yeah, we are. It was so good, so, but I just was thinking some tips that we hadn't mentioned along the way we wanted to pass on in case you want to do this. Some of the things you're looking for and feeling for, yep. and that's what it was, especially if you're new. Right, absolutely. So if you have any questions, though, put those in the comments or reach out to us through Instagram, Facebook, either We're on of those. social. Right, for sure. And we're still learning all this with you as well. Hurry! Friends, like we say, <laughs> it can look amazing. Oh, that looks absolutely amazing. Oh, my goodness gracious. Like we say, it can smell amazing. Oh, can I get a smell? Yeah, this whole smell pool deck. Yeah, you can. For the last four Everything. hours has smelled absolutely, absolutely amazing. amazing. Right. But if this doesn't taste amazing, then this was all, all for not. What are we Grab going? one. I'm going to go for I'm going to get the big guy. Oh, you're going all big. All right. You go big then. And go home. That's right. That's right. We go big and go home. All right. right. Cheers. I'll eat to that. My brother. Mm. <laughs> oh, my God. oh, shut up. This is the best. Mm. No way. Mm. Brother, mm. this is the best one yet. This is. Do you need one? Oh, I'm. You know, it's like, this. like I said, meat candy. That's exactly what it is. It's mm. got sweetness. I had, you know, I'd heard you can't season, you can't over season them. Mm -hmm. I was worried and I even made that point. Oh, mm -hmm. I don't want to over season it. This could use a little more seasoning, but only because it's so good. I can only imagine having more well, flavor. I could see, I could see mm, why gosh. you want to season more. It doesn't this need does, this it. needs doesn't nothing. Need this needs absolutely nothing. If you do mm. exactly what we did, you'll be in like we said, heaven like we you are. Can, you can use your own seasoning. You can use your own mm -hmm. rub. You can use your own sauce. Might I recommend the Kansas City rub from Pit Boss and the Sweet Heat barbecue sauce. Pepper and brown sugar. This is absolutely amazing barbecue sauce. This is everything. This is everything I hoped it would be. Everything I hoped it would what be. What happened to the plate? <laughs> the food mm. disappeared. This is dinner. That. We are actually doing something with this yep. in the next cook. So make sure you stay tuned to the channel to see what we come up with next using the rest of, not the rest of the pork belly. We gotta go feed the masses, but we're gonna save some of it for something special that we are super excited to do on the griddle. So make sure to stay tuned for that. Mm. Hold on, I gotta take one more bite here. Dude, I'd, I'd load those up in a basket, sell it as an appetizer. Oh man, is that good. Appetizer, main course and dessert right there. That's true, you got, you got the savory, you got the sweet, there you go. If you like this, if this gave you another idea of something that you could cook on your pellet smoker, make sure and give us a thumbs up, we really do appreciate it. It's one way in which you can support the channel and what we do. Another way you can support us is through our merchandise store, there's a link to that in the description below this video. I am so happy we got to come and do this. It, it was, it, it's well worth the wait. I hope Absolutely. We, I hope we way. answered the questions. I hope we went through all the process. Like I said, sometimes when we're new at these cooks, it seems like I forget some of the, the steps, but uh -huh. love to share what we're learning. Mm -hmm. Or if there's a different way you like to do it, make sure and put that as yeah. well. We, we love to learn it. We love yep. to revisit this cook down the road. Yep, exactly right. Brett, aside from coming to make this banger, probably one of my favorite things I've put on the smoker yet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why else are we doing this? Because all we do is twin, no, no matter, matter what. what. And with that, we bid you adieu. And don't forget to like and subscribe.